Damien, how's your day going? Aside from answering the same questions over and over and over again. <laughs> hey, Darren, it's all good, man. It's all good. Pleasure to be speaking with you. Love a lot of the stuff you've done aside from this show, etc. How did you get involved with this particular production? Because sometimes it's you know somebody, sometimes you're just great and they know. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, how did I get involved with this one, man? I think honestly, this show, um, and even the other one I'm doing now is uh tribute to the relationship I've had with uh John Wells productions over a few years. Um, you know, this is technically the first one I've actually done with them, but they are a very great group of people to know and they've been very good to me. So I think when um, you know, when good people call, you pick up the phone and you have a chat. And you just say, hey, man, this is what we're doing. And, you know, I mean, obviously there's a lot more steps in there, but the introduction to myself and Sherman definitely came through them. Uh, and that was the initial want after reading the pilot to say, yeah, I think I'd be down for something like this. Was all of your onset stuff shot in Chicago? Yeah. yeah Got that it. Was, that was the point was to literally lean in to the location and we wanted to see the Garland family feel real. And I thought the best way to do that would be to main, you know, to take the show off of a stage and to really do it on location. You never know these days. Cause sometimes the thing is in Las Vegas, but you find out it's really new Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Well, we shot, we shot a good bit in Chicago. So I think we, I think we can pass the test. And it also speaks to your talent in that you can't be pigeonholed. So for example, if we're talking about a step up, movie that has nothing to do with winning time etc but your background comes initially from my research as a cinematographer what was mm -hmm. your jump to really running the show and becoming a director was it a particular project well the cinematography came hand in hand with the directing um i'm from trinidad that's the murder capital of the caribbean unfortunately and not that i want to give it that type of stigma but in order to become a filmmaker where i'm from you know, you need these things, right? You need a cinematography, you need this, you need that. Mm -hmm. I've been painting most of my life. And so, which is sort of where my version of cinematography comes from and, and what I offer. But I didn't have money, simply put, to hire all of these people. So what did I have to do? I had to get good at eight different things. Um, and so as long as I've been directing, being a director to me has always meant doing a lot of things. Um, here in this system, in the Hollywood system, I think I get a lot of help to do those things, but it also allows me to work better with all our departments. And because it's a real team spirit, you know, you can't do this. It's not a one man or one woman kind of thing. Got it. That is the first time I've ever heard someone introduce themselves as being from Trinidad and not say Trinidad, Tobago. Yeah, no, I mean, it's the same as the Republic is both places there, but, you know, but I'm born, I'm born on Laventil Hill in Mova in, in Trinidad. So that's, that's my actual birthplace. You were just trying to make it easier for me. That's what you were trying to do. Yeah, man. <laughs> and uh, are we allowed to know what's next or is it Emperor forever and ever? And that's, you know, the biggest project and uh, that's it. Um, You mean as far as with the show or you mean as far as myself? As far as yourself, because, you know, these days, uh, usually it's not the same director for every episode. And right. we know that somebody like yourself is very creative and presumably creating something at the same time as directing. Oh, yeah. something I mean, right now, the one I can talk about, we are shooting, um, we're shooting the pit, uh, which is, um, I don't want to say it's the ER reboot, but you know, John Wells did ER now he's making the pit and it's a really fun and interesting medical drama. It's not like all of the other ones. So hopefully the similarity you will see, as you said, I can't be pigeonholed. I'm always trying to find, What's the new thing, right? What is exciting? That is my catnip as a filmmaker. Your catnip as a filmmaker. I mean, the thing that cracks him about ER is Anthony Edwards. You know, what do we know him from? Revenge of the Nerds. And he showed that he was what a great dramatic actor. So looking forward to seeing what you do with the pit. Thank you, man. Seriously. Thank you, Darren. Well, congrats on this season. Looking forward to your future projects, man. Thanks for your time. Yeah, man. Check out Emperor uh, this Sunday, the 14th at 10 o'clock. Outro.